so we are going to make a Moodle course page. That is a, a, a thing that uh, going to happen today. So uh, if we want to make a course page, we need a website. This is the issue. Okay. So we need a Moodle software. We need a space to put it. Okay. So that means a server. Okay. Either you have to purchase it or we can use some of the free uh, uh, providers. Okay. Uh, there are three. Basically, there are three providers. One is uh, xeted.com. Xeted.com. Uh, this one may be uh, most useful because of several reasons. So I I I, I put a, a link in the chat box so you can copy paste it. We can try with the exited.com because uh, uh, there is no much limitation in exited. That is the advantage. There are two more providers. One is moodlecloud.com. Another one is uh, genomeo.com. Okay. They have certain limitations or some disadvantages. So uh, let us uh, try with exited.com. But the issue is that for the first time, we will have some delay. That is the issue. Okay. We will see it. Okay. Uh, if we are facing any delay, we will. I switch back to some other uh, sites. Okay. So when you type exited.com in your browser, you will get a page like this. But you can create a website for you. Okay. Actually, we are creating a website. Okay. Of Moodle. For that, you can you can type your site name in the in the first box provided in the right side. That is name for your site. In the right side, you can see a, a create your LMS site in seconds where there is a line name for your site where you can type the name not that above a name for your site click on name for your site yeah where you can type the site name website name you can either give your college name or you can give your name okay it is better to give your own name because uh, there are several teachers in in a college so everyone will be uh, taking the same name. Okay, so better you give your own name. So this site name will be Sanjita dot exceeded dot com. Okay, uh, then you you click on the next box choose an LMS. Yeah, where you can click Moodle 3.10. That is the version uh, they have. Okay, fortunately, we have only one version now. Below one more box is where you can type your email ID. Your personal email ID you can give. Now there is one more check box. You check it, tick it, then click create site. Yeah, just scroll down. Uh, yeah, uh, just to scroll up scroll up. What is the message? Please check your email, right? Just to scroll down success near, below that success. Please check your inbox. Yeah. Now you open your email. Now. Uh, yes, now uh, either in the email inbox or in all mail. Okay, you can see an email. Okay, where they are providing the a site link. How there is a link sign in into exited. Click on that. Now. Uh, 
if it is asking for a confirmation provide your email id again now you will get a page like this where you may feel some difficulty okay uh, if it is doing very quickly we can continue this is a place it may show a delay Um, it is saying that it is active uh, now yeah now please again click on your email and uh, see yeah you will get one more email okay second email is also ready now there is one more link you can click on that link and though also in that email there is a username and password okay we can copy paste it First, you click on the link provided. Now, it may open a site. Yeah, now it is ready, I think. Yeah. Now you click login at the top right. At the top right, there's a login. Yeah, good. Now you can provide the user ID and password provided in the email. Okay. Better you copy paste the password. I think the password you copied is no okay you try login yeah that password you copied is not correct that is the issue yes Now you can see that one site is ready. What is the site name, website name? Sanjita.exited.com. Anyone will get this site. Okay, so your site is ready. Yeah, one minute. Yes, yes. So uh, now your site is ready. Now, what uh, what we have to do in this site? See, this is a website, just like your personal website or a college website, where we are creating individual courses. Okay, and here you are the site administrator, administrator. Also, you are a teacher. Okay, you have both roles. You are a site administrator. Also, you are a teacher. Now, who is providing a course in the course page? Actually, site administrator. Okay, so you have to take both roles. One is site administrator. Another one is just a teacher. How to do that? How to create a course in Moodle website? This is the first thing. So first of all, we have to create a course. How to do that? Go to site administration, which is 
in the left panel you can see a left column right where you can see a site administration you click on that now uh, in the middle of the page you can see several tabs site administration users courses grades below the search box below the search box you can see several tabs there you click courses then you can click then you can then you can click uh, add a new course yes there then you will get a page page where you can type basic things like course full name course short name okay the course that you are going to teach that is a course full name then you provide a course name course short name what is course short name it can be a short name of the full name some three letter word or something like that you can or same thing you can give word classics also you can give no issue now uh, the third item is course start date normally the course start date will be tomorrow's date where you can select today's date course start date is 30th march instead of that you select 29th march then you scroll down and save it scroll down 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 then click save and display okay now your course is ready. Now, how we will make sure that you, our course is ready? For that, you can click the site home in the left panel. In the left panel, you can see a site home item. It may be at the middle of the page, yeah. Yeah, middle of that column, you can see a site home. Where you can see a course name, available courses under available courses. There is a build classics. You click on that. Now you can see your post page. It is blank with few topics. Topic one, topic two, three, four, etc. Nothing else is there. Okay. So, so we have to fill the details here. Okay. That is our duty. We have to create our content in this course page now how to create content in the course page this is the question for that you can click the turn editing on at the top right now you can see that the page becomes editable with a few uh, additional items like a pen and an add an activity or resource now what is this topic one topic one is a block Suppose if you want to edit something in that particular topic one block, you click edit and then click edit to topic. Now you will get a page like this. There you can click the custom checkbox. Now that that small becomes become active right where you can type the title of that block suppose if you are conducting an online course the first block most probably will be a an introduction of the course or it is about this course so you can give a title like that about this course or something or course overview something like that yeah. 
now in the summary box you can you can type the content okay under course overview this is the title now you can type the content of under that title course overview what can be the course overview course overview if you are going to an online course you know that uh, it will give all the details of the course who uh, actually uh, who is the intended participants target participants are then who is the teacher and this course belongs to this university or something like that what will be the structure of this course okay how many months are there or something like that uh, then uh, the pattern of the uh, grading uh, the examination pattern uh, maybe important uh, references like that you can type everything here you can just uh, type two or three lines for the time being you can just uh, type two or three lines After typing, you can click Save Changes. When you finish your data entry, you click Save Changes. Now you can see that our in the main course page, the topic one title becomes Course Overview. And the content that you type below is coming. Okay, below that title is coming. Now suppose if you want to edit this content, what you will do, you again go back to Edit at the right side and click edit topic. Now the same page you are getting. If you want to, if there is a spelling mistake or something, you can correct it and again click save changes. Now suppose if you want to make some content, some letters or some words, you want to make it bold, how to do it? Again, you click edit, then click edit topic. Then you can select the word. First of all, you have to select the word, then click the bold or italics or underline or something. Okay. okay. Are you getting underline? You're not getting underline. How to get to the other tools? For that, there is a tool uh, with a with a down arrow symbol the first item you, when you click on that you will get additional tools okay where you have this underline tool subscript superscript alignment right alignment central alignment etc etc also you can uh, give you can insert a table all these tools are there okay uh, so if, if you want any additional items in this, please let me know. You can ask either in the chat box or you can turn on your mic and speak. After editing, you have to again click on save changes. Okay. Now, if there is any, any additional requirement, please let me know there is any additional requirement please let me know okay this is the way we are adding a textual content in the model page now suppose if one person want to add an image into this i want to put a picture okay uh, how to do that for that again you click edit on any topic it can be a course overview topic or topic two okay wherever you want click edit and edit topic then you will get a summary box right you can change the custom and its uh, title and all and 
in the in the summary box there is a you first you have to put your cursor okay the cursor is blinking now now you take the tool maybe the yeah fifth one from right side right fifth or sixth maybe sixth one from the right side that is insert or edit image insert or edit image yeah then you click on that then it will ask you for the uh, browser repositories okay yeah you just click for uh, click on browser repositories yeah then you will get a page like this where you have to click upload a file in the left side there is an upload a file now in the right side there is a choose file choose file click on that now you will get a browser window where you can open an image file from your computer you find out an image from your computer then click upload this file now you will get a page like this where you where you can see your own picture okay the uploaded picture you can see then there is a checkbox this image is decorative only you just uh, tick it yeah then click save image at the bottom of this page now you scroll down and click save changes Okay. Now you can see that your image has been inserted in the course page under block two or topic two, right? Now some of you may feel that this picture size is very large. I have to reduce the size of this picture. How to do that? Again, you go back to edit, edit topic. Then the picture you can see, you just click on that picture. Now it will be highlighted in blue. Now you again click on the picture tool. Picture tool. Yeah. Then uh, you can see a, some some pixel values under size. Okay. Where well, now it is 720. Suppose if you want to reduce the size to half of its original size, you just reduce one of its value to its half. Now it is around 700. You give it the value 350. Yeah, that's all. One value is enough. Now you click save image. Now you click save changes. Scroll down and click again. You click save changes. Now you can see that uh, the picture size has been reduced. Okay, so it is. it has a property of changing both the length and breadth because the auto size checkbox is already ticked okay by default it is selected this is the way we can insert an image or a picture now uh, how can you insert a video into this course page okay for that you can click the edit edit topic then in the summary box first you put your cursor then you take the fifth uh, tool button from right side yeah insert or edit an audio or video file then you will get a page like this where you have three tabs link a video audio you click on video now there is a video source url that means you have to put a url here okay in this box now where from you will get the url it is there in youtube you find out a video from youtube you open a new tab and find out a video from your youtube
you have to play that video. This is a very important thing. You have to play that video. Wait a minute, ma'am. Wait a minute. Ma'am, please, you close it. First of all, whenever you search a YouTube video, you have to play it. Okay, you just play that video. Then on video, you just right click. In the middle of that video, you just right click. Then you will get an option for copy video URL. Yeah. Now you you can close this YouTube window. Then you go back to your Moodle page where you can paste this URL. Yeah. Now you click insert media. Now that, that video is already inserted. Now you scroll down and click save changes. Now you can see that in the main course page that video is there. Now you try to play it. Now you can see that the video is playing in this page itself, right? In this page itself, it is playing. Now suppose if a student want to uh, see it in a big screen, you can maximize this video page that a uh, full screen option is there on that video. You can just uh, try it, uh, just show it. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, now you can see that if a student wants to uh, view it in full screen, that is that option is also available. You can press escape button. Yeah, uh, this is the way we can give a video from YouTube into your course page. What is the advantage of providing a video directly in your course page compared to providing a link? You know that even if teachers are searching for a video in YouTube, it is very difficult to find out. Okay, suppose we we found one video. What is the disadvantage? What is the second thing? Even before completing this video, YouTube itself is listing a set of videos where you have more interest than this education video. So what will happen normally? We will uh, we will go, uh, we will start seeing the other videos, and we will never come back to our learning okay we will never come back to the, our the uh, learning management system or this course page so they will be redirected in some other topics okay that is a disadvantage if you are providing a link to youtube but if you are directly playing if you have a if you have an option to directly play a video of youtube in the may in the course page itself they don't have an opportunity or they, they will not be direct, re, uh, redirected to some uh, other topics. So that diversion can be avoided. Okay, this is the advantage of providing a video in your course page. So uh, we have seen how to add a textual content, an image content, a video content. Suppose if you want to add an audio, how to do that? You click again edit then edit topic then again in the summary box the same icon you can okay uh, there is an audio option but you try it it may not work yeah click on that mic icon yeah yeah now you click start recording yeah it's working good click allow Uh, now it is recording so you can speak okay that uh, that speech will be recorded as an audio file but this may not work in all your Moodle pages okay depending on the security of your Moodle pages uh, Moodle website it may not work but uh, fortunately in exited it is working you can click on attach recording click on attach recording yeah now that file will be saved in the page okay now you have to click on save changes scroll down and click save changes okay 
if this option is there this is very good because you can directly record your voice without any third party application okay there is one more way if you don't have this facility if you are using some other modal pages than exited then this facility may not work even in modal cloud okay so you can click edit and edit topic now you can you you know that there are several uh, uh, third party apps to record your voice okay language teachers are using uh, now you can you can use any fm anchor or something like that where you will get this a link for your audio clip that you can insert here by clicking on insert a media that is the fifth button from the right side the same button for the video you click on that then there are three tabs link video audio where you can click on audio tab then you can click then you can uh, paste the link of the audio file okay then click insert media then that audio file will be saved there okay this is a way you can uh, give a audio link now yeah now you can click yeah okay. if you want you can click say either save changes or cancel okay so we have seen the textual content the image content the video content the audio content now what else we have we have uh some urls right uh, we have seen how to give a video url and audio url suppose if we have a website url how can we give it okay suppose there is a course material in pichi padasala how can we give a url of that for that we are trying to do some new things that is add an activity or resource click on that add an activity or resource from any block any topic then you will get a pop-up window like this now you can see so many tools you can try it uh, for the time being you can click on url option click on url option it is arranged alphabetically so you can easily find out u letter u you are on yeah you double click on that now you will get a page here you can type a name okay uh, okay so you are giving some some syllabus link better you give the name syllabus like that you can give suppose if you are giving a pg parsala of that particular link you give that epg parsala or something like that now now you have to provide the external url how to provide the external url you find out your syllabus from your university website or somewhere okay for that you open a new tab in your google chrome Uh, if any other participants uh, would like to share the screen, uh, please post your name in the chat box. Okay. If anyone is ready or would like to share the screen, please, please do it. Please raise your hand or Bala uh, is, I think. Ready. Any other participant? Only few are coming to share the screen. Okay, right. So you all should come. Then only you will experience a difficulty. Okay. Suppose you find out your difficult, uh, find out your uh, syllabus, then you click on the address bar. Okay, address bar. Where is the address bar? where you can see the back button near to that there is a, a space where you are typing the address google.com like that 
then you, you click on that address by a single click the entire text will be selected then you right click on that and click copy okay right click on that ad uh, address and copy it now you go back to your exited website no i think this is not the page maybe left one editing url yeah then here in the external url box you can paste the link now you scroll down and click save and return to course now you can see a syllabus title in your course page now you try it you click on that is it working or not It's working, right? This is a way you can give your entire URLs, okay, in any MIT website or some other course material or something like that. You can give uh, a number of URLs in your course page. Yes. Now, how how to go back? There is a there is an option. There is a path at the top just below of your course page you can see a path a dashboard courses world classics that world classics is your course right yeah just click on that yeah it is there so there are several ways at the left column at the middle top of the page and even in the left column there is a course my courses like that that title will be there there also you will get okay so we have seen how to add a textual content an image an audio a video a link right now one more thing is that how to give our files to our students okay these are basically resources what is a resource a, a material that a teacher is providing to the student okay a teacher is is given something to the student okay that is a resource okay the last resource is a file how to give a file to your student it can be a powerpoint file it can be a note of microsoft word it can be a word file of note or it can be a question paper of pdf or something it can be a calculation file in excel or anything it can be a picture file in a uh, uh, paint or something okay can be any uh, type of file even a video it can be a file right so how can we give that file to our student for that click on add an activity or a resource then you go for file option then you type the name of the file okay this is an this uh, the name should be clear to the student okay when he reads this name he knows that this is the content of this file suppose if it is a uh, some some note some xyz topic note okay you give xyz note like that you can type the name of the file okay then you let sc scroll down a little bit then you can see a select file option where you can click the first tool that is a page icon you click on that now there is an option upload a file choose file upload, click on upload a file then click choose file there you can select any file any type of file even an execution file that will also work 
can type any file you can select any file a word or powerpoint or anything Then you click open. Then click upload this file. I think the file size is too high, right? More than 20 MB or something. So you better you select a file with a lower file size. There is a PDF, okay? Yeah, fine, fine. Maybe a word document. Yeah. Is this okay, sir? Yeah, this is uploaded. Yeah, fine. Now you scroll down and save it. Now you open this file. Uh, yeah, it is asking for saving the file, right? Yeah. So. If a student clicking on this file, that file will be downloaded, right? So that you, you can click save. So once a student entering into your course page and you click on XYZ node, that file will be downloaded and you can see the downloaded file here. Now, is there any option other than this downloading? Let us see. Now you click the edit button next to the word file right then click edit settings not that edit title the same edit button next to the right of the word file yeah then click edit the settings edit then edit the settings now you can see if you want to give a description of this file you can give it in the next box that is a, a description box okay suppose this uh, you can see uh, if you want to elaborately say that this is the note for this okay you can read students must read this one like that all those instructions can be typed and okay, can be typed in this description box now you scroll down that file is there now there is an appearance title. You click on that appearance title. Yeah. Now uh, the display is in the automatic format. Okay. Now you click on that automatic. There are several options. Automatic in the sense that it is forced download. You click on this in pop up. You click the uh, option in pop up. Now you scroll down and save it. Now you try to open that file. Now what is happening? That file is not downloading. Uh, it's it's again downloading. Yeah. Uh, can you do one thing? Can you close it? Can you just uh, open uh, upload a PDF file? Yeah. No. Upload a PDF file. Add an activity or resource. some X naught or something. Yeah. Yes. Click on that file. Yeah. Yeah. Click on add. Then you choose a file. Then you type you select a PDF file. This is too big, sir. So, uh, it's okay. uh, maybe 
yeah let us try let us try yeah now you try to upload it yeah it's working you scroll down and save it now you try to open that file now you can see that it will be uh, ah yeah it is opening in the web page only okay in a new tab or in the same page it is opening right in the same window or in the same tab it is opening you just go back now uh, you click on this edit edit setting of this x note now you scroll down and uh, find out appearance then you click uh, instead of automatic you go for in pop up yeah now you save and return now you try to open it now you can see that in a new pop up window it is opening okay it is not disturbing the main course page it is opening up opening in a new window which is a pop up window the screen size is small if you want you can uh, uh, resize the pop up window also uh, as a learner also as a student also can uh, resize the window okay this is one of the option again you go back to edit edit, edit setting of x note in the appearance click on that in pop up now you can go for embed now you scroll down and save and return so i click on this sir yes you open it Yeah, now you can see that within the same course page, it is opening. Okay, without disturbing the course page, the all other contents of the course page, you can see the left panel is there. Now the file is embedding within the page, right? Still the student will get in the uh, downloading option, printing option, everything is there, but that page is opening within the uh, Moodle course page. That is the advantage of embedding okay some files it may work with some files it may not work with some other files okay yeah but in pdf it will work yeah and now that uh, force force download option is also there with the file option okay now again you go back go back Go back to world classics yeah now you scroll down now again you click edit edit settings the uh, most of the students use their mobile phone so which option would be better for them to access maybe may, maybe uh, in pop-up okay embedding option is also but okay uh, normally I give embedding option okay. okay sir. Now in the appearance in the appearance again in appearance you can see some other options like show size if you tick on that if you check on that students know how much is the size of that file and if you click show type then students know this is a PDF file or a word file or something okay and if you type show upload or modified date students know when it was uploaded in the course page okay all these options are there when you click show more just click on show more below of that there is a show more link yeah uh, use filters click on none click on none okay uh, okay okay no no filtering cannot be applied it is a new new feature uh, I haven't used that one also. Yeah, 
uh, so these are the e fundamental settings of a file okay now you can save and return is there any doubt regarding regarding in adding the resource material to the course page okay if you have any now you can see that it is 500 kb pdf file pdf document uploaded on 29 sorry 29th march okay the timing is 10 37 why it is coming 10 37 let us see let us resolve i hope uh, it may be with the time zone if the issue may be with the time zone how to solve it use uh, in the left panel in the left panel you scroll down maybe you scroll down or maybe, yeah you click on that admin user at the top right you click on that admin user yeah then you click on profile then click edit a profile you scroll down scroll down there is a time zone option yeah it is by default it is coming as europe instead of that you select asia calcutta Which one, sir? Asia Calcutta is there. Asia Calcutta. No, I don't see that. Uh, you try for K. Asia K. Ah, it's there, Calcutta. Now you save it. Scroll down. Update your profile. Yeah. Now you go back to your course page and see. I think now European time is 10.34 now. Okay. Present time in Europe is 10.34. Am I right? Now you go back to your course page. How to go back to your course page? You can click on site home. Now your course uh, will be listed in the center of the page. Now you can you scroll down 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 you see now it is 15 7 right 3 not 7 right now the time is okay now so this is one of the city now these are the resources okay these are the resources i listed that is uh, a textual content a video content a image audio file url so can we give assignments that the students can upload yeah. like we do yeah, in Google yeah, Classroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a different case. Okay. Assignment normally we will say that we are giving assignment to the student. Actually, who is working there? Actually, student is working there. Still, we are saying that we are giving. Actually, we, uh, we teachers are not giving the assignment. Actually, students are giving the assignment to the to the assignment content to the teacher so that is not under resources a resource is something which is given by the teacher to the student okay mm -hmm. in the case of assignment most of the work is done by the student okay is there any any so that is coming under the cl uh, uh, class of activity so any any other resource type any other resource type you have you want to mention or i want to mention i want to explain other than this, other than these six items. Yeah, even you can ask at any time. If you have one more, I have a type of resource like this. You can ask like me, uh, like this. I have a resource type like this. How can we, how can I give it? to my students okay you can ask that question at any time now we are going to the activity part what is an activity 
where student role is there, where student is doing something. Okay, that is an activity. The best two examples are assignment and quiz, right? Assignment and quiz. Okay, let us uh, do the assignment part first, which is which may be the very simple one. How to create an assignment in the course page? Now you click uh, this. Um, yeah, scroll down. And now you find out add an activity or resource. I think you uh, you have to again turn on your editing. Yeah. Now you can see that add an activity or resource. You know, you click add an activity or resource. You can see the assignment. The first tool is assignment. Double click on that. Now you give a name for assignment. Can be assignment one or something. Now we'll just scroll down and save it. Scroll down and just save it. Save and return to course. Now that assignment one is ready. Now you just click on that. Now you can see that. Uh, a, a summary of this assignment. What are what are the items hidden from students? Is this item hidden from students? No, that result is there. Participants, how many participants are there in your course page? Zero, right? Nobody, you, you haven't added any participants so far. How many submitted? Zero. There is only zero participants, so submitted will be also zero. Needs grading, nobody submitted, so grading needed is also zero. When is the due date? How it come? I will I will tell you. You have a student has to submit this on or before 5th April 12 a.m. How much time remaining? It's six days, eight hours. Okay. If a student is submitted a file or something, you can see it by by clicking on view or submission. Okay. You can grade either by there or by clicking on grade. Now you can't do this because nobody submitted in the course page. That is the difficulty. We will try to solve it. Okay. Let me uh, explain few more things on this again on this uh, assignment. You just go back to your course page. Now you scroll down and uh, again you find out this edit edit setting of this assignment. Suppose uh, students don't know how to submit this assignment. Okay, or they don't know what I should submit in this assignment. Okay, so all these instructions can be given in the description box. Okay, you type the entire description the uh, entire the instructions in the description box. Okay, you have to submit a, an essay on this topic. Okay, okay, like that you can type it. Uh, you have to prepare this one in a word file, and you have to save it, and you have to upload it here. Like that you can type. Okay, whatever uh, you are planning, you have to type it in the description box. Suppose you are giving a file and asking them there are some questions in this file some 10 questions are there you have to answer the questions within the file okay like that you can give so you can give a file to the student okay the question file question assignment file you can give it they can download it and they can edit that file and save the answers and they can re-upload that file to you okay in that way also you can arrange your assignment how to do that there is an additional file option where you can click files where you can click files where you can upload a file no no just the first icon yeah yeah there you can uh, click choose file and upload a file okay where it contains the entire instruction or the questions 
like that you can use that uh, tool now if you scroll down there is one more option that is time limitation okay allow submission from uh, just to scroll up allow submission from here uh, you can see that uh, even if you are uh, putting the assignment today you don't want to give it by today itself you have to give it to your students by next month okay uh, 1st of april okay in that case the assignment will be available but they cannot submit the assignment okay because they we are giving some time to upload the assignment in that case you can give you can set the permission to submit this assignment okay like that you, you can do it by selecting the date and month even time okay that timing is also available in hours and minutes so you can change it now the next item is due date what is due date due date is the date for the submission within this date the student has to submit okay now below that there is one more date that is cut off date what is its meaning even we are say, we teachers are saying that you have to submit your assignment by day after tomorrow they some of the students will not submit okay but after a few days they will come and complain uh, ma'am uh, when i came there you were not there so i haven't submitted my assignment so please accept it okay so like that we have late submissions normally we will uh, accept it and we will give mark but in the case of moody you can set it as a cut off date after due date students can submit their assignment within the cut off date okay we are giving a grace period of uh, another one week okay you, for that you, if you want to set it you have to click the enable checkbox in the right side okay in the cut off date there is an enable checkbox then you set a date which must be greater than the uh, uh, due date okay that is 5th april so it should be either 6th or something okay now what is the date a student can submit uh, can you uh, put a 10th of april can you put a 10th april now what is the date students should submit their assignment before 5th april but there are few students they will not submit before 5th april so they can submit in between 5th april and 10th april before 10th april now if a student is submitting on 4th april that is a normal submission but if a student is submitting on 6th april okay that will be marked as a late submission okay he, he will also get this message his assignment is late okay so they are getting an awareness that we are doing some mistake okay like that we can teach them the punctuality okay the importance of time okay so this is a, a advantage of setting a cut off date now another date is there remind the teacher to grade okay remind the teacher to grade you can set a date for that also now if you scroll down a little bit there is a submission types okay uh, sometimes we are giving a simple assignment in that case they can just type the answers within uh, the model okay like that if, if that is the case you can check the online text check the checkbox you can tick that online text in some cases we are giving an option to the student either you type or you attach as a word file okay or a pdf file in that case you can check both the boxes online text or file submission or if you want to allow the only the file submission you just uh, tick only the uh, uh, file submission now so if you what untick, does online what, text mean uh, uh, we will see that they will be just typing okay when they click add submission they will get a box like a summary box they have to type the answers there itself then click submit okay sir 
Now, if you if you untick that file submission, that means if you are only giving the permission for online text, that means they have to type it lively. Okay, and you uncheck that file submission now. Yeah, now you can see that there is one more item that is word limit. You click on enable. Now you we can limit the number of words entered by a student. Suppose if you want to get an essay of maximum of 500 words, you can set it there. You can type 500. Word limit is 500. You can type it there. So uh, they will get a message if they cross the 500 words. So they have to edit their content. Now, if you tick the file submission again, you will get more options like what is the maximum number of files uploaded, uh, maximum number of uploaded files. What is its meaning? Uh, how many files can be uploaded by a single student? Normally it is one. Okay, a student uh, can submit one file. By default it is 20, so you can uh, change it to one. Another option is what is the maximum submission size? Okay, sometimes there are crazy students. They may uh, send you a video file. Okay, in that case, it becomes difficult, right? So the file size also you can limit. Okay, by default, it is 100 MB. If you want to reduce the size, that is also available. If it is 2 MB or 5 MB, you can set it. Now, uh, there is one more option. What are the accepted file types? Suppose if you are a computer teacher or something like that, or you want to uh, get the assignment as a Word file only. Okay, you can restrict them. How to click on choose? You will get a list of list of file types. That is for text files or document files. You can click on that document files. In that case, there are several type of documents. Word document, Word document can be Word doc. That means earlier 2000, uh, sorry, 2003 .doc or new Word Microsoft Word document that is dot docx. Like that, every file you can you can either restrict or choose. Okay. So you can opt any of this. So for the document files, you can give only one option. No, you can uh, select any a, a, a number of options together. Either image, both the image or this word and yeah. Yeah, you type, no, no, no. Click on document files, yeah, yeah. Yes. If you want to get only the PDF file, you can go for PDF. Like that, no. you can. Yeah. No, can I give like three options at a time? Yeah, so? at a time, okay. you can give n number of options. Okay. So, this is about this type of the file that I have to submit. Even we can give a group submissions for that. You have to set more things in the Moodle course page. Uh, yeah, uh, that can you can you click group submission setting? Yeah, just click. Uh, in groups, you tick yes so that it will. Yeah, require groups. Wait, wait a minute to to make. Yeah, click yes. All group members to submit a by default it is no. Uh, grouping for student groups, yeah, click on that. Okay, if you have created groups in this course page, there is an option to create groups, uh, several groups in your course page. Then that group names will be listed here. Okay, in the case of none box. Then if you if you are planning to give a group submission, group assignment. Then the only the group members, one of one of the group 
uh, sorry one of the group member need to submit the assignment like that you can we can give a setting okay now there is a notification can you click on that notifications uh, yeah notify uh, graders about a submission they, then they will get a message even an email notify graders about the late submission you see that is option is also there uh, setting to notify for notify students yes okay now you click grade now uh, here you can set the maximum grade okay either it can be point or rubrics okay hope you heard about rubrics instead of uh, giving the marks you can set it as a rubric you, you can click on the point in the type option there is a oh here uh, there is no rubric okay, there is a scale option and a, a point option you see in 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 uh, latest version of module we can set the rubric option also okay uh, but this is an old version 3.1 is an old version now we now 3.8 and all are available okay so either point or scale option is there just like our um, grading system uh, a b c d grading system that the scale is also available but normally we will keep it as a point option yeah you can keep point uh, then uh, the maximum grade, the, the, the maximum mark for this assignment you can set. And there are several grading methods. Okay, uh, I'm not aware of all these terms. Uh, if you click on this symbol, uh, sorry, yeah, symbol direct grading, you can see several options here. Okay, maybe educational uh, teachers may might know all these type of grading. Okay, ah, here there is a rubric option. Yeah, yeah. Here there is a rubric option okay yeah where you can set a yeah, clicker rubric rubric now you grade category that is grade category we haven't set so nothing will be there a grade to pass okay so students know that once you mark this assignment once you evaluate this assignment you will be giving some scores so they will be knowing that whether they passed or not so you can set a pass mark for this particular assignment out of 100 you have to get 40 marks like that you can set okay yeah okay yeah. that's all now you scroll down scroll down uh maybe that's fine now you can click save and return to course now you again open that assignment Okay, now you there is a settings button at the top, right? No, 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 you just scroll up. There is a settings button at the top, right? Yeah. Yeah, click on that. Uh, group overrides, user overrides, calculus and permissions. Principle breakdown, logs. Oh, define rubric is there. If you are going for a rubric in the settings then you have to re, uh, define the rubric yeah click on that to define rubric you can give a name for this rubric let it be rubric one or assignment rubric something some name you can give now you can give a description okay uh, like uh, you are giving this uh, rubric for uh this and this purposes like that you can uh, uh, describe it then it will be easy for you again to identify now uh now uh, there is an option for add criterion okay you click on that add criterion uh, yeah okay now a box is you got right Suppose in an assignment, you are you are just like in our uh, answer paper evaluation uh, for a science teacher. Uh, what we will do uh, for this figure, we will give two marks out of ten uh, for essay question. We will give two marks. 
for an equation we will give another two marks uh, for the explanation of equation we will give one mark like that you can arrange you can set a rubric okay set a scheme for that for example uh, figures with the label you type figures with the label Now, uh, yeah, if if the if that uh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you you give figures with the label. Yeah, you click somewhere else. Yeah, now figures with the label will get two points, right? Figures with the label is there, then they will get two points. Now you click add eleven. There is a item add level yeah yeah now uh, in the first box in the first box there are four boxes yeah there you click there you click yeah now no figure no figure if there is no figure in the essay question, that means zero mark. Okay, right? Now, figure without a label. You give figure without a label. In that case, you can give one mark, right? You can give one mark. In the second two points, give figure with a label. Okay, so we are assessing one criteria in the essay question you can delete the other that three points you can click on that cross mark yeah yeah no no that yeah that's fine yeah yes now we are assessing one of the criteria in an assignment that is figure okay it is an essay question that suppose you we are giving an essay question I write an essay on carnot cycle or something like that then it uh, one of the part of that essay is a figure okay that figure we are valuing with the rubrics what is the rubric if the figure is neatly drawn and with the label then we can give two mark if there is a figure without a label then we can give one point if there is no figure that means zero mark okay so when you evaluate all these options will be listed there you just check either figure without label or figure you will you cannot see the mark you will be only seeing only this label no figure these options no figure figure without label or figure with the label suppose uh, you want then you can elaborate this again you can see that uh, uh, a neat figure then you can give 1.5 mark okay Okay, like that you can elaborate the point again and again. You can add more number of levels here. Now another criterion may be, okay, there is already one criterion at the top. Click here to edit a criterion. Click to edit a criterion. Yeah. Just above this figures with the label. Just above this figures with the label. No, no, yes. That is a gray part. Yeah, there you click there, click there. Here you can give go for equation, right? Equation, type equation. So can we change the points, for instance? Like yeah, definitely or... yes. Definitely yes. You try. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see change. Okay. Uh, in equation, equation with the. Uh, explanation, then you can give some two points or three points i can say the point here itself you can change it here also two points yeah three points okay fine then you go for the next level Here, equation without explanation, right? Now, 
like that you can add so many levels in your in your each criteria okay uh, another may be so this explanation like that you can arrange your assignment okay now now you can see that there is only four points or five points in this assignment okay still the computer will convert this five points to 100 marks because we set a, a 100 point uh, grading for this assignment okay now let uh, let us see whether you can evaluate it let me make a try just to scroll down and save a rubric and make it ready click on save rubric and make it ready something wrong just yeah, scroll down uh, level definition cannot be if empty so you can delete these two points okay there is no 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 two points it is empty either you have to type there or you have to uh, yeah can delete yeah now you scroll down and uh, yeah now uh, edit the no 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 just yes, scroll up I find form publish the form as a new template edit it the current form definition okay you scroll down okay this rubric one you can use it anywhere in the course page that is advantage suppose we are uh, uh, giving a one more assignment assignment number two in that case also the same rubric set you can use it okay so it's a one-time investment you can use it anywhere in any other assignment uh, now oh, let me see is it able to evaluate for that you have to submit an assignment that uh, let me make a try okay uh, you just go back to your course page you just uh, scroll down scroll down is there anything left yeah you you go back to your course page now you open your course page now uh, this assignment is there you just open it Assignment one, you just stop. Okay, again the same result. Okay, again the same result. No participant, uh, no groups. Oh, it's a group submission. We have to change it. You click on that uh, edit settings. That means that settings button. Then edit settings. No, edit settings. Uh, instead of that group icon, instead of that group submission type no 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 scroll down scroll down submission settings submit a ah, group submission where you can click no yeah now you save it uh, now in the left panel there is a participants left panel there is a participants yeah and now you Click on enroll users at the right side. Uh, now you click on that small arrow mark. Search box. Yeah. Click the admin user. Yeah. Uh, now you click enroll users. Okay. You scroll down a little bit. Yeah. Now you go back to your course page. Now you open your assignment. Now you scroll up in the admin user top right. Click on that admin user. Yeah. Now you switch role to click on switch role to last item. Then select student. Now you scroll down. Okay, so uh, you scroll down, scroll down. Now uh, this is a view of a student. Okay, this is a view of a student. As when a student opening this assignment, you go back to your course page. 
Now you are a student. You are not a teacher. You are not an administrator. When a student is opening this course page, they are getting a view like this. Okay, this is their view. They can't edit your course page. This is the text they are seeing. This is the image they are seeing. This is a video they uh, will be able to see. Okay, right. The same page. In the, this is the assignment box. Okay, there is no add an activity or resource. I can there is no pen button, right? There is no edit button here, right? There is no turn editing on button here, right? Now you open that assignment. You are a student right now. Okay, you are now when a student opens this assignment, they are getting this items. What are the items you scroll up? Scroll up. Uh, submission status of this particular student. Okay, submission status is no attempt. I have not made any attempt. Grading status not graded. When is the due date? Monday, 5th April, 12 a.m. Time remaining six days, eight hours. Now, they are getting the grading grading criteria prior to their submission. They know that their assignment we evaluated based on these criteria based on these items so what are the items equation equal you scroll down scroll down if there is an equation without explanation now the student know that he will get only one point one mark everything will be listed in the rubric okay the same rubric will be displayed to the student now the student can click on add submission Click on that add submission. Now you submit it as an online text. This is the meaning of online text. Okay. Uh, you provided both the option online text and file submission. That's why uh, the uh, student is getting both. So you type no. something in the online text. Something. No. You type something, something there. Yeah. Fine. Now you scroll down. Scroll down. If you want, you can attach a uh, file. You see that uh, a uh, it is also viewable to a student. The accepted file types are document files, PDF files, where 2007 and the maximum file size is 5 MB. It is also written there and okay, the maximum sir. number of files that can be uploaded is two. It is already written there. Now you click okay. save changes. You are a student. Now you are uploading your uh, assignment. Now you see the submission status is submitted for grade uh, grading. Now what is the grading status? It is not yet graded. Okay. He knows that teacher not yet graded. Okay. And again the same thing. Even now you feel that something is wrong. Okay. Uh, so last modified is this date. Now if you want to you scroll down scroll down now if you want to suppose you, you noticed that some error happened when i submitted some mistakes were there suppose if you want to remove this submission you can remove it or you can change the submission you can edit the submission option so that option is also there okay this is a view of a student when they gets an assignment okay if you are giving a rubrics that rubrics will be displayed for them also. Okay. Now, if you want to give a point scale, nothing will be there. Just only that uh, submission status and all will be there, but that grading uh, points will not be listed. Now, let us go back to our teacher role. You again click on that admin user. Now, return to my normal role. Yeah. Now, you can see that hidden from students. No. Now, you see, you can see that. Participants one submitted one needs grading one requires. Now let us grade. Click on that grade. Now you can see the submitted assignment here. Okay, is there anything? Yeah, that is A B C D in the right side. If it is a file that will be displayed in the left side. If it is a text document, that is, it is there near to that plus sign. Under that plus sign, in the right side. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, that A B C D is there. Now, you scroll down and find out the grading. 
now you see that you 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 can scroll up or uh, you can you can drag it i think you can rearrange the size the boxes there is a there is a uh, which box sir uh, left this one? panel box yeah 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 little bit right no right side is there any option to may not be there okay fine 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 leave it leave it now that is a, there is a grade near to grade there is a cross mark you yeah click on that click on that yeah now it will open in a new window now you select now you select if equation is there you select yeah equation without explanation let it select that one yeah click on that so that is a mark for them if you have a any feedback for this particular assignment you can type it in the right side there is a box blank box no no right side yeah there you type you have okay. yeah yeah you have to uh, uh, give explanation when you write an equation like that you can give the feedback for that particular item okay now okay. you go now you go for a, a marking for figure okay you select anything either one point yeah you selected something okay another one point okay here also you can give feedback so student is getting a good feedback for their individual items okay that is advantage now you again click on that cross mark yes it is uh, again went back to that same part now if there is an overall feedback you can give it if you scroll down you can give the overall feedback here okay uh, you have to receive your assignment something like that you can give or it is an excellent work something like that you can give now you scroll down now you click save changes okay that as a uh, something for each yeah something not taken okay in the second one i think in the second yeah now you click save changes yeah now that is not selected that is issue the second item not selected now you click save changes. yeah now it is saved okay so that means that assignment as a, sorry that evaluation is over now you go back to your course uh, this course page and again that is a mark okay that current grading in the grade book is 40 we have selected whether the equation is there or not okay and uh, the point was one two as extra but it converts to 40 uh, to 100 marks okay that was a maximum score so out of 100 he got 40 mark. now you again open this uh, assignment yeah now you can see that submit hidden from students no participants one submitted one needs grading now it becomes zero okay because you already graded that one okay now what will be the student view you again go back to your admin user switch role to student yeah now you see so what is the status submission for grading grading status it is graded by the teacher okay now you are a student so your teacher graded it okay due date is there rubrics is there now you scroll down scroll down scroll down uh oh the, uh, yeah yeah the this is the feedback he got now uh, in the equation part he got equation without explanation one point okay what is the feedback given by the teacher give explanation for the equation okay in the figure part he got only one point okay give label his teacher instructor that give label okay so students are getting a good idea about uh, their assignment it's a very a good type of feedback and uh, finally the, there is a mark you scroll down there is a gra mark that is 40 out of 100 and the the grading was happened on so students know that when the teacher is doing uh, his work okay so <laughs> graded on uh, date and time is also displayed there sir is there another option to still make changes yeah yeah because that uh, submission deadline is not yet over okay because you okay. put the submission deadline is 5th april, april right okay. that's why they have still 
they they can still edit their submission. But if you change the template, is, they, okay, even after it is graded. Yeah, yeah, even after it is graded because we are supposed to grade it only after the submission date. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. Sir.